This video is going to concentrate on a theory that is a psychological and economic theory called conspicuous consumption. Now, what does conspicuous consumption actually mean? Well, conspicuous means to get noticed, and consumption is basically the purchase of a good or a service. So we can pretty much speculate and surmise that the conspicuous consumption means to buy something to get noticed. Now, why would we do that? Well, the economical side would pretty much argue that since the war, there's been a rise in affluence in the UK. Years ago, it would have been, what job do you do? Oh, you're a coal miner, and that's how you get labelled. Whereas now, it's all about what your tastes are, what music are you into? Do you like fancy cars? Do you ride horses? Are you an investor? Do you like ostentatious jewellery? It's all about your taste. And that pretty much is conveyed with the rise in affluence. Now, for example, if you watch The Only Way is Essex, you'll notice that they've all got a Rolex watch on, they wear fancy suits, really nice clothes, drink champagne all the time. It's all about conspicuous consumption because they do not need to buy them goods. But because not everyone can afford those goods, because they are just consuming those goods, it sends out a message to everyone else. Look at me, I can afford things that you can't. And it rises your status in society. And there is an argument that the UK has become a consumption society because of our rise in affluence. And this can also be demonstrated with cars. If you used to buy, let's say, a Citroen and an Aston Martin, now both will get you to and fro from A to B. So why would you spend that much more money on an Aston Martin than you would a Citroen? Because they both serve the same purpose. Well, the answer may well be Okay, you might argue from a mechanical point of view, there's more quality in the Aston Martin, but it does enhance your status. I mean, we've all been on a motorway and we've seen a Ferrari drive past and we thought, I wonder what he does for a living. It's basically saying, look at me, I've got money because I can afford things that you can't. And this is what conspicuous consumption is all about. Now, with conspicuous consumption, I mean, you can also compare this with watches. People that buy Rolex watches to a cheap watch. Now, they both serve the same purpose, but not every single watch will give you the same effects socially. Because if you go out and you have a Rolex on, people think you've got money. And this is where conspicuous consumption really kicks in. Now, conspicuous consumption is quite a key thing. If you are a business owner or you wish to own a business, then you might want to know about this theory. And we have got a link below this video that explains it in much more detail than what we have just done in this video. So if you want to know more about conspicuous consumption, do click on the article and read through in your own leisure.